Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew Guy, and today we're not only going to be testing the skill of some of our best CRL players, but we're also going to be testing their knowledge. This is Secret Ingredient. Alright, joining us today, our competitors are Hire and Schwarzen, or as we know him, Schwatzen. All right, gentlemen, before we get started, we have to break down the rules. Players will first face off in a trivia round. For every single question that they get wrong, they will have to discard one card from their deck and bring in a new one on the fly. And of course, this is a best of three. So the first player to get the two wins will be the winner of this episode of Secret Ingredient. All right, gentlemen, now that the business is out of the way, it's time to get into your very first trivia question. So here we go. Hire and Schwatzen, question number one. Who is the youngest player to compete in CRL 2021? Is it A, Miku, B, Mohamed Light, C, Yuya, or D, Morton? Ten seconds. It's definitely not me or Rich. And five. Four. Three. All right, gentlemen, let's see what you have. And look at that, a perfect first question here. You both answered correctly in Miku, so neither of you have to discard a card from your first deck. Let's move on to question number two. Which player has participated in the most monthly finals in 2021 so far? Is it A, Samuel Basoto, B, Sandbox, C, Ruben, or D, Viper? Ten seconds. Five. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you have here for your second question. Is your second deck going to be safe? And look at that, Hire, our first player to miss today. So Hire, you're going to have to take one card out of your deck and swap in a brand new one, and then we get to see if it's going to pay off. All right, your third and final question. Which 2021 CRL player is known as the king of sniping? Is it A, Air Surfer, B, Anaban, C, Casualty or Igor, or is it D, Mohammed Light? Ten seconds. You always hate getting sniped. It's the worst. Five. And that is time right there. And I'd be shocked if either of you guys missed this. We all know the king of sniping is in fact B, Anaban, and look at that, a perfect round number three. Here we go, gentlemen. Your decks are basically safe. Higher, you're going to have to swap out one card in your second game, but now it's time to get into the action. Okay, game number one here of Secret Ingredient. Higher at the top, Schwatzen at the bottom, and a reminder, both of these decks are completely safe, so we're just going to see a straight-up game here between two CR gods. I mean, honestly, there's so many cards won between these two guys. Let's see, Hire coming out with a bomber top of your screen and Baby Dragon bottom of your screen here. Schwatzen's got the Mother Witch looking a lot like Royal Giant, but still maybe a little too early to tell. Top of your screen, maybe we're thinking, I don't know, what do you guys think? Electro Giant, we're going to go Graveyard. We're going to have to find out here. And here we go. Fishboy comes down to soak up that Baby Dragon belch and pretty clean here through the first about minute of game play as that Fireball is the only damage we've seen thus far. Our spirit going to be cycled off that right hand side. And just slow play right now makes a lot of sense. These guys don't have to do anything crazy. You know, they built these decks the way that they wanted them for a reason. So, thinking that they could be a little heavier if we are going to see RG or Electro Giant or Graveyard, we're going to start to see things pick up here in the next about 30 seconds or so as we get into double Elixir. Here we go. Let's see what Mother Witch can do with those piggies. Fireball going to come down. A missed fireball there from higher. That is a big, big missed fireball. And there's that big Royal Giant coming across the bridge. Mother Witch behind. Piggy in suit. And, of course, a Mega Minion there to add some big-time single-target DPS on anything that's going to come down. And there it is. Mega Minion plus Mother Witch on top of that Night Bomber on the back end with a little bit of help of that Brawler to try to stop Schwatzen's puss. But look at that my goodness everything on the tower mother witch to boot and we are down below 700 hp and schwatzen not letting off that gas pedal fish boy going in with the electro spirit that's going to be tower down yes it is tower down early on as we get in to double elixir now we just got to see if higher can get on the offensive he's got about a minute left let's see if he does it 
steps up with a cage. Schwassen cycling in the back. He's got no urgency now. He can literally do anything he wants, and he's got a pretty defensive deck here. Got a lot of good single target DPS. Skeletons to soak up any big charges or things like that. Other opponent single target DPS, and that Royal Giant I don't think will even come out again for the rest of this game, but let's find out. High Goblin Cage once again. There's the Fish Boy there. Fish Boy trying to get on top of that Goblin Cage. At least that was the idea there behind Hire's placement, but does not work out. Mega Minions still there. Two Mega Minions down. Those are going to make a lot of havoc there for that Goblin Brawler about to pop. RG in the pocket. Sometimes the best offense, excuse me, sometimes the best defense is an offense, and there you go. He stays on the offense. That way Higher cannot even get down his win condition here in game number one. And a reminder, guys, this was the deck that Higher constructed, but not able to get on the offensive here in game number one. Schwatzen, perfect through trivia and perfect through game number one. <laughs> oh, man, what? a game what a great way to start secret ingredient today higher dropping game number one not ever able to get his win condition down and as i said schwatzen perfect so far today and i gotta ask you schwatzen how do you think your deck selection helped you out in game number one so i picked a royal giant cycle deck with mother witch and mega minion and some cycle cards like electro spirit and skeletons so it's really strong and really solid against most of the meta decks like graveyard or other quick cycle decks because you can't get out cycled and always have an answer also you have the fisherman which gave you a lot of uh, variation in your gameplay because you can put it in the offense to pull away a troop from your royal giant and uh, in defense you can pull it like a Hawk Rider or a Ram Rider to your King Tower to activate him. So I think it's a pretty solid deck, and this is why I choose it. Great insight, my friend. Now remember, Schwarzen, you have been perfect so far. Higher, you got to swap out one card, just one card. Schwarzen, you keep doing whatever it is you're doing, man. Let's go. Game number two. Okay, here we go. Game number two coming your way. A quick reminder, Higher is swapping out one card in this game, and... Keep your eyes on the screen. We're about to find out what that card is. And he's starting quick and baity here. Maybe he's going to go to Mortar. Fingers crossed, please. Please. Schwatzen, bottom of your screen. I think we already know he's going for the dual lane. Royal Piggies push. And there they are coming out early on. Cannon Cart. Cannon Cart plus Musketeer plus Spear Goblins. Yeah, we're definitely going to go to Mortar here. And there it is. My favorite building in the game. My favorite win condition in the game. Usually paired with a Miner, but I'll give him a pass so far. Cannon Cart working it down the lane. Earthquake coming in, going to take that Furnace off the board, causing just a little bit more pressure here for Schwatzen. Schwatzen has to get that Barb Barrel out to clean up that Cannon Cart. Cannon Cart's mobility has actually now shifted from what was too slow to now you can really take advantage of breaking up your opponent's defensive sequence. And we'll see how much Higher does that here in game number two. Schwatzen up one game to zero, but Higher having to swap out a card here in this second matchup. Here we go, Musketeer coming down the lane. Royal Recruits, the six man split in the back. We'll see how Higher wants to deal with this as that flying machine comes down up higher. Up higher, up high, there we go. Gonna be a Royal Delivery coming in. We know that with that Earthquake coming out, we weren't gonna see a Fireball, so Delivery comes down, but a lot of damage in here on that left-hand side. Cannon Cart working down the right-hand lane, but Schwatzen back in the lead by about 500 HP here. Higher, back on offense. Cannon Cart working down that right-hand side. Mortar gonna come out. Barbarrel in response to try to get a little bit of damage in. There are those Spear Goblins on the side to get a little bit of clean up on the barrel and look at that they clean up that fire spirit as well mortar lock in and now that lead is gonna go right back over to higher as we get into double elixir time a really really great game here i mean higher actually was able to construct a really nice deck and look at that the royal piggies coming down the lane fireball in six fans split there to catch him as well but more damage in as higher continues to Pull ahead here, 1531 to 979. Schwatzen back on offense. That sneaky fly machine trying to come in and lock in, but there you go. Valkyrie to catch, Royal Delivery to boot. Mortar back down to get on offense. Zappy split in the back. You see that that Fire Spirit's going to come out and catch that Mortar pull. But now what? Up high, there's the six man. Mortar, Mortar shot doesn't go anywhere of note. Back on offense goes Schwatzen here, 1531 to 979, a bit of a standstill, but we're about to get into overtime. 
That's when things get really, really exciting. Valkyrie going to help clean up these piggies quite a bit. Fireball value in there on the Valkyrie. On the cannon cart, delivery coming in a second late, but trying to really protect that flying machine from locking more than landing on top of the flying machine. And nice timing there on that furnace. Good cleanup on the piggies. One fire spirit pops out, but the earthquake still furthering this lead of higher 1123 to 746 so what does Schwatzen do sets up the six man in the back here we go minute 39 left to play slow down each lane here cannon car gonna meet the three on the right musketeer set up for the three on the left plus the flying machine there's that delivery again high spear goblins to get on top of the flying machine you love to see someone vary up their defense so this musketeer does stay alive and can he use that to his advantage he does royal hogs up front earthquake in musketeer behind getting a lot of damage in piggies on the tower earthquake on as well 395 taken down 336 to 277 there's that musketeer you can ignore that royal recruit on the right hand side 277 high are going to look to get an earthquake cycle in maybe some spear goblin chip damage and of course those piggies can come down if he needs but there is no urgency here he just needs to defend and get those earthquakes down there's the first one going to take that way way down piggies coming in on the right hand side 103 world delivery going to come down spear goblins there as well cannon cart two cannon carts on the left hand side he's able to stave off this massive offense you get a little bit of damage in there earthquake in Look at that. Hire takes game number two with a card swap. We're going the distance. Let's go to game number three. Things are heating up here on Secret Ingredient. Hire has to swap out a card, but it ends up paying off handedly. Him and Schwatzen are tied in game number two. And we're going to go to game three for a decider. Woo. I'm excited. But first, let's find out. Hey, Hire, do you think that card swap ended up helping you out at the end of the day? 我如果没换那张卡的话，我应该更好赢，因为我是把机甲换成了火枪手嘛。然后他的飞机我稍微有点不好处理，这套卡原版它是带机甲的，如果我是带机甲的话，可能打他这一套的话就优势更明显一点。all right, well, look at that. Secret ingredient paying off here for hire. Sometimes maybe it's better to miss a question in the trivia round. I don't know. We're tied at one. We're going to game three. Let's do this. This is for all the marbles here on secret ingredient. Hire takes game number two. Schwatzen takes game number one. Schwatzen had not missed one trivia question. Here we go. Piggies out early. E-barbs plus barb barrel to match. That's going to be nice cleanup there without too much damage in. But Schwatzen showing his win condition early on. Hire, a lot of options still with those two very, very popular cards here in the game. And is Schwatzen copying deck here we're seeing a lot of the same cards so far we see the delivery we see the piggies we see the spirit i guess maybe the spirit though was the furnace i don't know here we go earthquake in looking more and more like it right now higher probably not too happy to see an earthquake with the furnace but we'll see does he have double and there it is double spawner going up against mortar earthquake this could be a bit tough for Hire to pull off, you know, Schwatzen can sit back and defend really, really well, and Hire going to have to figure out a way to get on tower. We'll see how this plays out over the next couple minutes. Schwatzen, bottom of your screen, remember, picked up game number one. Hire picks up game number two with a quick swap out. Schwatzen copies the deck here in game number three and gets that Mother Witch down is Hire. Here we go on the offense. Double spawners, man. They just make me angry. They make me angry. I mean, Hire, I'm not going to hold it against you, but... Double spawners make me angry. <laughs> All right, cannon cart working down the lane here. Going to cross at the perfect time. You see, going to get those spear goblins off the board. Still create a little bit of pressure as it comes across the bridge here. Going to get on top of those skeletons. Not going to be able to get onto the furnace, though. Nice there for higher. But what does get on the furnace is going to be that mortar. Mortar locks on. Musky on top of the flying machine. Bar barrel in. And a healthy musketeer going to come across the bridge. And once again, we see the royal hogs in front of that musketeer. Such insane DPS. And a lot coming down the lane here. But not Nice cleanup there by Hire. Those E-barbs do so much damage so very fast. But if you look on the right-hand side of your screen, a good amount of damage in here for Hire. 1641. Now we're probably going to see a building come out in response to the mortar. There it is. There's the furnace. Easy trigger pull on that earthquake. You know the barb barrel flying machine are going to come in again because that's the way Hire's been, like, uh, been preferring to defend these pushes. So easy stuff so far for Schwatzen, but... As we get deeper and deeper into double and triple elixir, Hire will really be able to crank up the heat. We'll see if he even makes it that far. 
Here we go, another push coming in. E-Barbs with Flying Machine to boot. Flying Machine basically always behind whatever Hire likes to send down the lane. Same as with Schwatzen. He likes to put that Musketeer right behind those piggies. Earthquake in to take that Furnace off the board. Little bit of damage in that Earthquake gets those Skeletons off as well. 1175 to 2057. And this is just a tough matchup right now here for Hire. You see Schwatzen doing the smart thing. All right. I got a big damage lead. I can get my spell cycled. I'm gonna sit back with my mortar. I'm gonna make it hard for your spawners to get on tower. And I'm just gonna cycle earthquakes for the next minute and 50 seconds. Higher has to make something happen here, but his deck is all about overwhelming. And with Earthquake, with Cannon Cart, and of course with that Mortar defensively, it's going to be really, really tough. Here we go. Next offensive push here from Schwatzen, maybe breaking up the sequencing that Higher would like to create his offense with. Let's see if it pays off. Royal delivery in, nice clean up there. Mother Witch behind, gonna get some piggies on the board. Not many, not as many piggies as Hire would have liked. Flying Machine in as well, not gonna get more damage in. Cannon Cart gonna go off of its wheels, but Royal Hogs come down the lane as we have about a minute and 10 seconds remaining. High Furnace there, right on top of the tower, not where you want it. Piggies on the tower, taking it below 600 HP, higher. What can you do in the next minute? You're gonna have to have a miracle here in CR, and I just don't know if it can happen. Schwatzen cycling here in the back, knowing all he needs to do is survive for another 50 seconds and get those earthquakes down. Did that flying machine connect? I don't know. Royal delivery down as well to make sure he doesn't get a ton of damage in. Schwatzen cycling those earthquakes higher, giving up on the buildings and going all in here on offense. Poison damage coming in, but I really feel like it's too little too late. There you go. Nice royal delivery on top. E-barbs are there. He was ready for it, but all of that cleaned up pretty nicely. 414 to 1024. 20 seconds left. I think Schwatzen is going to take this episode of Secret Ingredient. There is the next earthquake down. A big push coming across the lane. Mortar going to lock on tower? Question mark? Yes, it does. The Kobe shot takes the tower out, and Schwatzen is the champion today of Secret Ingredient. What a game, number three. What a match today. I love Secret Ingredient, and while Hire actually picks up a game with having to swap a card out, it's all about Schwatzen today. He picks up game one, game three. You're perfect through the trivia as well, my friend. Congratulations to being the champion of Secret Ingredient today. Talk to me a little bit about this this last game. In this matchup, uh, my absolute key card is Earthquake because he plays double spawner with Furnace and Goblin Hut. Also, uh, he can't really do something against the Mortar because he has no Earthquake or good counter like Cannon Card, which he can directly place on the Mortar for Kill It Did. And yeah, so what, what I trying to do was to cycle as many EQs as possible uh, to not let him stack some, um, some of his huts. Also for the offense, I always try to have EQ in, in, in my hand, uh, to have it ready against his huts, against my Royal Hawks, so uh, they can connect on his tower and make uh, damage. With that, I am Andrew Guy, and Schwatzen is our champion of Secret Ingredient today. What a blast we had, and make sure you tune in next time to figure out who the next contestants will be. Maybe there'll be some of your favorites out there, and of course, we'll see if they have all that trivia know-how that Schwatzen flexed today. And most importantly, follow along here on the YouTube channel so that you catch everything that is CRL 2021. We'll see you next time.